Today we're going to solder a T-joint or T-splice into the reverse light power wire for my accessory LED backup light system. Now this harness that you see here is a uh, harness for the 7-pin uh, trailer wire. If we take a look here, if you look I don't know if you can see that, but that center wire is the red wire. That's the wire that feeds the power to the reverse light circuit. Now this is a uh, uh, tow-ready uh, wiring harness. It is specifically for a 2004 Ford F-150. And uh, I don't know necessarily if it'll fit other years, so I won't be giving too much information on that. Um, if you're interested in the specific part numbers, uh, just look on the earlier blog entry. I've got them there. Now, what I did in preparation for this, I cleaned the insulation off of the section of the wire close to where the uh, pigtail goes in to the uh, uh, into the seven-pin uh, plug itself, um, and. and that allows me to have a, probably about an inch of uh, insulation is what I cut back. The way I did it was I took a uh, box cutter knife, um, one of these. Hopefully you can see that fairly clearly. It's a Stanley 99E. They probably, this one's old. They probably have a different model number on it, but this is the old kind where you just goes in goes out. Um, and I just cut in a circle around each side carefully not to uh, not to cut the strands on the inside of the insulation so I cut them around and then laid my uh, wire down on a hard surface so my fingers weren't near it and just slid it lengthwise split it open walked it off the intersecting wire you'll notice is yellow. Um, that's because of the color code I am assigning to my circuit. Yellow is the wire uh, color that's going to feed the trigger for the uh, relay. I wrap this um, according to actually NASA standards. Um, I took the wire, stripped it back a little over an inch, and then wrapped five wraps around the uh, main wire we're intersecting. I've preheated my soldering iron, and we're going to heat up, use the soldering iron to heat, preheat the uh, joint area. And let's see if I can do this without interfering with the camera. And you can see I'm just touching the area right next to where I'm not actually touching the tip of the solder to the soldering iron itself. I'm touching the tip of the uh, solder right into the area of the wire right next to the solder. all the way around. I want lots of solder in there. I don't want it to be too much, but I want lots of solder in that joint. So I'm making a complete fusing. Of the two wires together. Check our underside. 
the book joint. And you can see, I need solder back down there too. So let's get the soldering iron in there. Let's move the spool out of the way. Maybe the camera can see a little better. Yes, if you can't tell, this is self-shot video. Um, I am a filming crew of one. I'm the talent. I'm the director. And the videographer. Now, we'll see in some other videos that are going to be coming up shortly, the videography is going to step up radically in quality because my lovely bride is going to be doing the videography instead of me. And that is the joint. Now you'll notice I don't have any heat shrinkable tubing either before or after the joint on either wire. That's because I'm making a uh, T joint, or in this case kind of a Y joint, and I don't want any stresses on the uh, joint to pull the tubing apart, so what I'm using instead is just standard black electrical tape to protect my and insulate my wire. And we're simply Pulling around times. And, and voila. I have an insulated protected T connection. Now I just need to feed wires, along with the rest of the harness wires, back into the split lane. Try to keep that wire as close as possible to the surface of the split lane. Am I out of the screen? Yeah, I am. Back up. Okay, and you can see what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> I'm going to take the tape on either side of the breakout. So now we have a purposefully broken out signal wire that goes from I set my reverse light wire to the signal wire that is going to go to my relay. And uh, that's it for this video. Next video we'll be feeding the wire under the truck. Uh, in, I'm sorry, installing the seven pin harness um, including the uh, the seven pin coupler for your trailer, your harness, and uh, your install hardware, 
And again, this is on a 2004 Ford F-150. Um, other years should be very similar, but uh, I, I don't want to tell you it's going to work exactly without being all that familiar with the layout of the wiring. Um, that's it. This is Dave from Dave's Workshop, and I uh, wish you all the success and safety and uh, successful projects from here. Thank you. Bye.